Yo dudes, what's up? This is Planet Keith, I'm Keith, and today it's episode 16 of the weekly vlog thing. And it's been quite a week, starting on Monday, which was designated Freedom Day by our glorious Prime Minister, on the basis of nothing more scientifically valid than a big chunk of optimism. Um, the, the, this really should have been postponed, delayed, just forget about it. Because what happened on Monday was the lifting of pretty much all restrictions relating to COVID. Uh, so no requirement to wear face covering indoors anymore, although recommended. Social distancing not required, although still recommended. <laughs> Sanitizer in shops and everything. Uh, not, not a word was said, but it's, that's still happening. And uh, basically, it's just too soon. Look at this chart. We've, we've got cases rising exponentially while everybody else is almost hitting zero. Um, we are, well, once again, the laughing stock of the universe. I'd like to say I don't care, but I do, I do care very deeply because this country used to have a lot of respect worldwide and it's just all been spaffed up the wall by one particular individual it's just ridiculous i coined a slogan bozo must go go oh yes tuesday was really exciting i recorded an interview with irish comedian alison spittle and this is for a podcast being produced by bbc studios a subject close to my heart finders crispy pancakes and a burning question are they feminist so i'm not qualified well i mean i think they are feminist because if if you were the cook of the house and you had to spend hours and hours and hours making these things yourself you would resent it after the first 10 times so being able to just grab them out the freezer is a, a very liberating thing so it was done on zoom there's the producer Haley, and there's alison and there's me and it's all uh, pulled together with a, a bit of software that enhances the audio quality. I don't know when that's going to be available, but as soon as it is, I will let you know. Also on Tuesday, some of the billionaires around the world have been taking excursions into space or to the edge of space. Richard Branson did it last week. Jeff Bezos, Bezos, Bozos, I don't know. The founder of Amazon did his own version in his own personal rocket, which, well, what does that look like to you? It attracted a lot of derision, but you know, I, I don't, I don't have any sense of who this guy is. I know he's like immensely rich and just doesn't really have any kind of social conscience because he doesn't pay his workers very well. He doesn't pay tax if he can help it. Um, and, and just, he's not really a great guy. And the idea that, it, well, I, I think I read an interview with him where he says that um, I've got all this wealth. I don't know what to do with it. I think the best thing I can do is um, build a space program and we can go and colonize planets and things. I haven't actually seen or heard anything of this Blue Origin program that um, uh, belongs to Bozo. So it goes <laughs> in a cowboy hat when he gets back after like 10 minutes. Um, he makes a little speech or does a little press conference where he thanks all of the Amazon employees and customers because you paid for this. Honestly, do we need reminding? On Wednesday, I noticed an interesting thing in my YouTube analytics. It summarizes the most popular videos views wise in, in the last few days. You would think that would always be what you've just released, but it's not. It's all to do with the long tail and I've got videos stretching back five years and more and one of those how to make cherry jam is is my most watched video at the moment so I, I drilled down into the analytics for the cherry cherry jam video and this is what you see this peak of views every June July every year it happens. It's like clockwork. It's amazing. Um, yeah, and that represents about three pounds each one of those peaks, so I'm happy. And back to politics. On Wednesday, the government announced that uh, they would be increasing their initial 1% pay rise offer to NHS nurses to a massive 3% increase. I mean, gosh, core wow. Uh, they're not 
the nurses aren't falling over themselves about this because in real terms over the last 10 years their pay has decreased by 7% and that includes that 3% rise. Uh, so it's absolutely shocking. The government hates them. Well, the government hates everybody, uh, but that's okay because we hate the government. So there. Okay, Thursday, nothing happened. Friday, a little trip out. <laughs> Mrs. Planet had an appointment at um, Otley General Hospital, which is about 10 miles from here, um, although it, it comes under the Leeds council area. And it's nothing serious, don't worry about it, but uh, I, I volunteered to be her chauffeur because it's a nice drive and it's a nice little hospital with easy parking and yeah, just, you know, a jolly pleasant experience all round. So that's what I did Friday morning. Friday afternoon, the Olympics in Japan started. Again, another massively controversial thing, should they even be doing this? There's no audience, but there's still like thousands and thousands of athletes and officials from the IOC and various country athletic federations and so on. And you know, yeah, it's gonna be a colossal super spreader event again. Saturday, went shopping to Bramley Shopping Centre, which is in West Leeds, and saw this, a sit-in, a demonstration by lots of, you know, ordinary old people. <laughs> and this is about, um, that shopping centre was taken out or bought recently by new owners, whose, I think, first act was to remove 16 benches that had always been there that were well used by, you know, well, people just having a little rest, having a chit chat and, uh, you know, very, very useful and sociable thing to have. So the new owners just removed them without any explanation that I'm aware of. Uh, and so now every Saturday morning, <laughs> people bring their own chairs and um, sit and talk and socialize and get people to sign the petition and, you know, hopefully the owners will start to notice that they've made themselves immediately very unpopular. And then after that, we went to a nearby village, Farsley, which is an absolutely gorgeous little place that I'm not going to tell you about because you might go and spoil it. Um, but on the last Saturday morning of every month, they've always had a farmer's market. And so that's restarted. So we went there. So by pure coincidence, somebody was filming on their mobile and uh, <laughs> and they pop and they put it on Facebook and uh, it's got us in it. That's me in my uh, sort of red thing without sleeves, gilet kind of thing. So yeah, fame at last, again. And then Sunday, the highlight of the week. Since I became interested in maintaining the lawn, I've noticed that there's quite a lot of clumps of cat poo. And um, I don't like it. I don't want my lawn used as a cat toilet. So we've got these things, uh, which are, I think they're, they're not ultraviolet. They're not infrared. They're not even colour, their sound, their high-pitched sound, you know, like dogs can hear very high pitch, so can cats. So found this and repaired it, well, put new batteries in and, uh, and just switched it on. <laughs> and I think it's working because uh, a bit after I'd switched it on, a cat came through the gate and on the left you've got the lawn and the cat scarer, on the right you've got well, ordinary garden where it's not the end of the world if they do a little poo there. So um, he was going to turn left and then he went right. So it must be working. So that's very good. So I'm happy. And then what would have been the crowning pinnacle of the week, um, I retired to the shed and I was going to finish making this garden chair. But um, after I'd been using power tools for about 10 minutes, Mrs. Planet came in and said, stop that. It's Sunday, people want peace and quiet, all right? So, yeah, I put the kibosh on that. Anyway, great week, and maybe next week will be great as well.
We don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. So thanks for watching and see you next time.